In this episode of Watching the Watchers, we're talking about Phoenix police officer Timothy Biardi. If you were somebody you know or love was stopped or cited, arrested by Phoenix police officer Timothy Biardi, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to this video. So the reason we started watching The Watchers is because over the course of representing thousands of people facing criminal charges, we have found that when there's police misconduct involved, prosecuting agencies and other police agencies, they don't really wanna tell us about it. They keep this stuff close to the chest. When an officer's involved in something, we think that they should disclose it to us. Most of the time, they'll give us some excuse as to why they don't need to do that. They'll say, well, the officer's case is still pending and hasn't come to a final conclusion yet, or this officer is still going through an appeals process, or this officer's conduct doesn't rise to what's called Brady material. We don't think it's exculpatory. We've done an internal review in our office, and it's not gonna make our list of things that we need to tell you about. The problem with that is as defense attorneys, representing people charged with crimes, we think it is relevant, we think it should be disclosed, but we oftentimes, we don't know about it because they have access to that information. It's in their files. So what we're doing here is we're telling you about these situations as we find them, so that if you or somebody you know or love has been charged or cited with this officer, by arrested by this officer, it may impact your case. You may have a, a, an ability to get a better outcome as a result of this officer's misconduct because this officer was violating policy pretty blatantly. And so if the prosecutors aren't gonna disclose it to you, we'll do it. So in this case, we're talking about Phoenix police officer, Timothy Bayardi. Let's dive into the nuts and bolts of it. This article came from azcentral.com. It was published originally back on May 15th, 2019. Officer Bayardi was arrested for aggravated assault. He was charged with aggravated assault after video surveillance uh, appeared of him actually slapping or hitting somebody who was in custody. So this person was arrested at a Walmart for shoplifting, was taken into a back office and sat down. He was in handcuffs and the video footage is pretty clear that Officer Bayardi actually hit him while he was in handcuffs. When you do that, when somebody's bound and restrained, you're charged with that. You can be charged with aggravated assault. It's a class six felony in Arizona. It's a pretty serious felony charge. This officer was uh, arrested for that. Now, obviously it's not in police policy that you're allowed to slap somebody when they're in handcuffs. That's a pretty clear violation of policy. It's a pretty big violation of just kind of human decency to do that to somebody, but this officer did it. Now we think that of course, even this officer, like all people, are entitled to due process and the presumption of innocence. The video is readily available and we'll clip it here at the end of this video so you can take a look at it for yourself. But this officer was clearly in violation of police protocol. So if the officer violated police policy in this particular case, that's a pretty big problem because who's to say that this officer didn't do the same thing in your DUI case or in your domestic violence case? It's an integrity violation. Maybe the prosecutors will disclose this or not. We don't know. But for your pure purposes so that you know about it, if you were somebody you know or love was charged with a crime, incited or arrested by Officer Bayardi, make sure you give our office a call or at least notify your defense attorney about it because it could be a very big problem in the government's case against you. So don't let this one go unnoticed. If you wanna speak with our team about it, we offer free case evaluations. Give our office a call, we'll get you scheduled. Really nothing to lose whatsoever. We look forward to speaking with you soon, and thanks for watching.